Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a covering and we'll be discussing about vertex covering. So basically, covering is nothing but if you are learning about vertices, you will be you will be getting the information about edges. So you will cover them by using something else. Okay. So that is the concept of covering guys. So once we are going through one of the type, you'll be having a clear idea. Don't worry about that guys. Okay. Okay. So vertex coloring, sorry, vertex covering, right? Yes. So if you take a small example, guys, I'll be giving you an example first, then we'll be going on to the theory. Okay. Okay. So I'll be using the same example guys. Okay, so here we are having a five edges and four vertices, right? Yes. So here we are learning a vertex covering, right? Okay. So we are learning vertex covering. Okay. So it indirectly states that we are taking a subset of all the vertices. So basically what are the vertices here guys? A, B, C and D are the four vertices. So among these four vertices, we will be taking any few vertex that might be three or that might be completely four or maybe two that might be one. So the goal of this is nothing but assume that you selected BD guys here we selected BD. Okay. So assume that you selected the vertex V1 set as a B and D. So the thing that you will be observing is that what are the edges covered with B. So with B E2 is covered E3 is covered and E4 is covered with the D also three it just are covered that is nothing but E5, E3 and E1. So if you combine these all, E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, you can simply say that it's union. So at the end you ended up with all the vertices, right? Hence the collect set that is nothing but the small set V1 is a vertex cover for the particular graph. So this is the concept guys. So basically you will be taking a small subset of the whole vertices set. And you will be checking whether it is covering all the vertices. If it is covering all the vertices, it is indirectly stating that the given graph for the given graph, this vertex set is a vertex covering. Okay. Yes. So let us go through the theory now. A subset of a vertex V is called as vertex covering of graph G. If every edge of G is incident within with or covered by the vertex in the subset of graph V, subset of V. Okay. So initially assume V is equals to ABCD, the same example guys. So we have just drawn the diagram. V1 is equals to BD. So I assumed that B and D. So from B you can visit E2, E3 and E5. Okay, I wrote them. Similarly from D you can visit E1, E3 and E4. So union of them you will be getting all the combinations. Okay. Similarly the another example V2 is equals to ABC. So from A you can visit these two. From B you can visit all. From C you can visit these two. So at the end you, vis you are visiting everything. So that's also possible. Similarly for V3 A to C, A and C. So from A and C, from A you can visit these two, from C you can visit these two, but E3 is missing, right? So E3 is missing, hence this is or not a vertex covering set guys, okay? Okay, so now I hope everyone got a clear idea about what is a vertex covering set, right? First of all, okay. So now let us go through minimal vertex covering. So you got an idea about vertex covering, then what is the minimal in it? So basically in some situations, there is no need of that particular vertex guys. Okay. So in that situation, the, that is not a minimal vertex covering. So let us go through the examples. Don't worry. So if all the vertices of the set are mandatory to maintain the vertex covering, then that set is called as a minimal vertex covering. So after removal of any vertex from it, the property will be lost. So in that situation, we'll be saying that that is the minimal vertex covering. Okay. So in the previous example, we checked for BD, right? Okay. So only with the B, can I visit all guys? No, E1 and E5 will be missing. Similarly, if I remove D, can I revisit all? No. So in the same situation, if you check, it is mandatory. A, B, C. Okay. A, B and C. Okay. So from A, I can visit these two. From B, I can visit these three. Okay. This is missing. So C is also mandatory. So even this, everything is mandatory. You can cross check also guys. Similarly, at V5, we gave A, B, C, D, assume in that way. So assume that we gave all four. So are all four mandatory guys, even with the A, B, C also you can do, the, do get all the edges. So D is not mandatory, right? So hence this is a, this set like A, B, C, D is not a minimal vertex covering set. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. We can remove any one of the 
and you want to make the V's make it into minimal vertex covering so basically you can remove a or b or c or d if you remove any one now that will become that will come under minimal vertex covering okay so you might be having a doubt that okay we discussed about minimal vertex covering is there any kind of formula to find how many digits or how many vertices will be there so you need to by observing only you need to identify guys so it is represented as a b of g guys it indicates the minimum cost of a minimal vertex covering so minimal vertex covering value will be stored in b of g so if you observe this example the minimal vertex covering is 2 right yes so it is nothing but 2 in the above example okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on vertex covering so the thing that you should remember is in vertex covering you will be selecting some vertices and checking whether they are connected to all the edges or not that's it that's the only logic here okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on vertex covering so in the next lecture we will be going through line covering or edge covering okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching